Hi, in this video, I'm going to show you how to install a DM or a display manager for DWM. In my last video, I have shown you how to install a DWM, which is a dynamic window manager on Debian. Uh, in this video, we will install a DM for that uh, last installation. Now, as you can see, this is my DWM installation. So just to show you how it looks like when I reboot. So there is no DM and in absence of DM, the system will boot into TTY or a text mode. And on the text mode, we have to uh, enter credentials and then it will run star X. That process we can automate. So if I log in, this is how it works. Then uh, I type star X and then it brings, you, it brings me in uh, DWM. Now let's install a GDM. Uh, since it's a Debian, we will use apt package manager and in apt install gdm3. Uh, it's going to install a bunch of packages, but that's fine. Let it install. Uh, gdm is used in uh, GNOME or GNOME, but all the uh, display managers, they are kind of... Uh, 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 separate from the uh, desktop ma pro manager so we could take just the GDM, gdm component and we can install it in dwm okay so installation is complete coming to the configuration part a gdm relies on dot session dot x session file uh, which is a launcher for a gdm and since we don't have that file in our home directory, uh, we can create a new or we can copy x int rc. They are identical in a, um, in, in a way. Uh, their structure is same. It's just a different file name. We could copy or we can sim link. So uh, I prefer to copy. So let's copy dot x int rc in the home folder to dot x session. Okay, so pretty much that's all we need. Now, uh, if we reboot, uh, the, the DM or GDM should work. We should have a, a login uh, window. But by default, uh, when we boot, the system shows text and it does not show the splash screen which we have for uh, Debian. So we can activate that as well at the same time. So we'll go here, we go to etc, default and grab. This is the config file. Uh, nano this is the config file uh, which controls the uh, output for grub so or it's a grub config file uh, splash save since we made changes to uh, grub file we'll update the grub and now we will reboot let's see Okay, we have a different grub now. And we can see the splash screen now for logging. This is the GDM. And if our configuration is good, it should launch DWM and which we can see it. So that's all. Uh, I just wanted to show you the GDM. i see you in the next video. Thank you.